Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We're going to talk about the timestamp and gap codes. POTUS Trump today, which is March 15th, Friday, has had an incredible start of the day. He's thrown out some tweets. We all know if you're a Q follower, you follow. Uh, we all know we're here. This is the time. So he just did three tweets. We've been doing a lot of videos about how uh, basics work. Let's do something real advanced today. He just did three tweets with three with dots in them. These dots have hidden messages and we've gone over them a couple times. We're going to do it again. These are the three time stamps of the tweets that came in. This is on the Pacific Coast Standard Time. On the East Coast, you're going to have a different hour, but your minutes are going to stay the same. One way you can double check this is in the middle tweet, it's 55 past the hour. Five by five, okay? So we all have that, 55 minutes past the hour. The other thing that's the same no matter where we are, no matter what time zone you're in, is the time in between these tweets. We can just go to the second to third one to make it easy on us. There's a one minute time difference. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what time zone you're in, no matter what hour you see this tweet come in at, our minutes are the same and the gap between us is the same. And we have no gap, my friend. We're all one. Where we go one, we go all. Let's see if we can't do something with this. The first tweet had seven dots on it. He then wanted to go and continue his tweet because he didn't have enough spaces and characters within that tweet. So he finished his thought process and it only took him eight minutes for him to figure out what he wanted to say next on his next tweet. You know, he's a little slow. He, 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 so, so we've got an eight minute time difference which gives us a gap of seven. We're gonna get back to this. On the second tweet, which took him forever, it was probably because he had to figure out if he wanted to put in four dots to start the tweet. And then he had to figure out he was gonna to have to need more dots at the end, so he put in five dots at the end of that tweet. And then his next tweet, is the other one, this should not ever happen to a president again. It only took him one minute to figure that one out. He was, you know, I mean, who can't figure that one out? So on that one, he put in another five dots with a gap of nothing if there's a one minute time difference. So let's take a look at that on a piece of paper and see if that looks like something. So here's this, again, the time stamps seven dots we've got a gap of seven minutes and then we've got seven dots what if we go ahead and do the seven seven four with a five by five afterwards you can go look at q drop 55 if you want but we're just going to use that as a confirmation because you know we've got a confirmation of five by five there's coincidences everywhere. This is such a mathematical, crazy, crazy, amazingly fun thing that they're letting us do. Uh, I act like I might be a smart, uh, like a show off, and I know what I'm doing here. I do know what I'm doing, but I didn't just, I didn't make this up. I'm just confident in what I've discovered and been shown. I have no idea how they were able to figure all this out. I just now know and understand it. And I have the confidence to show and teach you so that you can be a part of this and doing this yourself. I don't want to be doing this every day. I don't want to be a show off and be doing this. I want to teach you so you can teach your friends so everybody can be on page with this. This is the Great Awakening. Let's go read some of these Q drops that we've got because we've got a lot of them. It's really crazy. So let's go look at 774. 774 Q drop says... All discoveries must be original and organically discovered with a hive mind. So, and that is exactly what's happened. I organically, which is our brain, our brain is an organic matter. It's been discovered. They put all the clues out there for us to find and discover. 
and that's what we have done as American and Anons. We've discovered many. There's 43 connections to the map. I've only got one. I, well, I suspect there's going to be so many, 10, 20 of them maybe in the future, that we won't ever get to know. We'll, we'll be all dead and gone by the time those people in the future will figure out how complex it is. That's just a personal guess. But then let's go ahead and reverse the mirror, that 774 to 447. And that one, Q drop 477 says, timestamp, decipher, think clock, unwind the clock with all markers, relevant, future proofs past. So when this was put out there, we didn't know what was going on. There wasn't enough clues, not even close to enough clues. Timestamp. Decipher. Timestamp and gap code. Am I deciphering timestamps here? Are we learning? Are we starting to understand? So now let's go ahead and do how we do it basically. That was just de de uh, decoding the dots. That was with the dot system. But we still have the original uh, way we do the timestamp and gap code. We take this timestamp here, the first one, and we take the time between the first tweet of the day, correct? And find out the time difference, go at the gap, and go to that Q drop. So with that in mind, we should have three brand new timestamp and gap messages on top of what we just deciphered right here with the dots. So that's a lot going on, right? How could all this be co connected and tied in? I'm telling you, it's all been pre-written. Everything's already arranged. It's the great awakening. You are awakening and you are thinking differently. You are. So let's go look at these three gaps and see what they have to say. If you've uh, gone to my Twitter page already today, you can see the gaps already. Q is everywhere. Um, wow. It, it, it's very hard to keep up with it. I would love to do a video or a call in to talk to somebody every day. I'd be on the, phone, on the show hours because it happens that fast and there's so much happening. There's so, so, so much happening. So if we go ahead and look at these three gaps, the first one has got a gap of six hours. Excuse me, that's the timestamp. So the first one was 205, 502, got a little bit lost. We got four. Let's see if we can't find these. 205 is that you made the list. 502 reversed was uh, DEFCON 1. I've lost one of my notes, I apologize. Is the DEFCON 1 POTUS Trump stringer. So then the next one, we're going to go ahead and have, oh, okay, that was the first one. I, I, I got it back again, sorry about that. The first one, uh, this tweet to the first tweet of the day is 2.05. It was two hours and six minutes, so a gap of 205. You made the list, we reverse it, flip it, mirror it, and it goes to 502, and it's a DEFCON 1 POTUS Trump. Stringer, 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 Stringer. Uh, the next one is Q213, uh, and here we go again. This is, this is the way it is. The world cannot swallow the truth. Look at the normies out there. They just, I mean, they're even watching the news. They can't even handle the news lies. I mean, uh, so it's gonna get real hard to deal with people when you realize what kind of a matrix we really, 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 really live in. The last one, the gap, was uh, two hours and 15 minutes, so it gives us the gap of 214, Q drop 214, and that's what that's saying. 24-7, 365, we've been spied on our whole entire lives. We want to, all the information about all the other people that we're doing wrong and have their information be exposed, and you don't think yours wasn't spied on, that's all I'm saying is that this is the great awakening is that we have been spied on and controlled and being manipulated for a long time and we're getting to the point where it's not working anymore. So God bless you patriots. God bless Jesus for letting me see all this stuff. I'll see you real soon. Amen.